morning guys this is kenzo extra out forex so let's go straight to our daily analysis it's monday i hope everyone is going to have a very nice winning streak week uh, actually we have a special which is going to end this sunday uh, everything is 15 dollars except the robot the robot is 30 dollars then the vip signal stay is 15 dollars and signal system is also 15 dollars then from this sunday my vip signals is going to be monthly after this sunday is going to be monthly and 15 dollars because at the moment it's lifetime so guys if you don't afford 15 dollars there is nothing wrong but don't ask me some like stupid questions if you can afford and you're a trader you you can afford 15 dollars and you want so many things about the system or maybe the 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 vip signals there's so many people who ask me some not good questions about stuff that i'm selling especially vis uh, vip uh, a bit about the services people they can't afford 15 dollars but they are in trading that's really really sad guys so please if you can afford that there's nothing wrong with that but take your time to learn those things because those things they're not going to replace you they just there to add value on your trading they're not going to replace you they can just help you to see things that maybe you were not uh, able to see before so yeah i hope maybe you will understand that please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends if if you are already if you already subscribe please 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 I mean, if you already subscribed, thank you very much. Thank you very much. If not, if you are not subscribed and you are new, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope you're going to smash that subscribe button if you find the information very, very useful. So now we are on US oil. Uh, remember, it's Monday. So I'm not going to take much of your time today. So uh, you can just go there and try to analyze. So Monday, actually, for me, it's just here to analyze. So on a four hour time frame on us oil what we see is the market has been giving us this type of a move so what i'm expecting now i'm expecting the market to reverse a little bit like to reverse like this before i see another push push into the upside why because we are on an uptrend we should look for only what buy signals or long positions buy or long one thing is just the same thing so i'm looking for the market to do something like this so the market is actually creating this type of moves but that is just a very nice uptrend the market is consolidating push up consolidate push up consolidate something like that i hope you understand that so what i'm looking at you can wait for the market to reach this previous uh, high here then you can buy around that area and push the upside simple as that what you can do uh, and another thing is if the market is going to break this area and push the lower side wait for the market to to break this support area then you can see it's time to do it to sell why because the market will be breaking uh, the, um, the support area that we have simple as that don't complicate things guys don't complicate things so let's move to the next one so the next one is what it's gold i hope you still remember we we're talking about gold uh, last week or maybe even yesterday go back check my previous videos what happened here is the market is still on the support area here i hope you watched my previous video so what's happening here is we have this area as a support area do you see that and the market came back and pushed up again so it means what we can expect we expect the market to push a little bit higher maybe the market is going to respect this resistance if not maybe we will see the market break into the upside or maybe we will see the market uh, coming back again around the support area but remember we also have a diagonal support area uh, which is this one here but at the moment i'm not going to talk about it that much you can go back check my previous video which is yesterday or day before that so yeah at the moment the market is still on this type of a wedge where the market is creating something like this uh, maybe on a daily time frame you will see that nicely do you see do you see that nicely now you can see that the market actually created this type of a triangle move you can see so the market is now squeezing 
going down like that so it means we just waiting for a very big breakout to the upside or maybe on the bottom side we will see a breakout we don't know which a way the market is going to break but we know that we are on a wedge on a daily time frame so now we here you see that so it's at the moment the market is trying to push up but on a daily time frame you can see that that resistance is not really that far so be careful when you buy and don't just forget your trades because this thing can also come back very aggressively right so let's move to the next one i am trying to make this video very quick so that it's going to be way, way too easy for us or for you uh, to watch because I don't want to make like a very long, sorry, a very long video. Uh, let's go on a four hour time frame. So now we are on a German 30 or you can just call it German 40 as they always change this name. So because they added 10 companies, then they are German 40 now. So what's happening here is we are on a support area. We are on a support area. Look at this area where the market is really respected. And the market is not really far from it's not really far from this support area. What are we expecting? I'm expecting the market to push to the upside. Why? Because we are very close to the support area. And most of the time when the market reaches this area, the market always pushes up. The market always pushes up. But since we had this downtrend, it means for us to have like 99% sure that the market is going to be on a bullish momentum or on a bullish trend, it means we need to break this uh, resistance there. Then we can say the market is now on a very nice uptrend. Now the market is just bouncing around this um, very close to, to the support area, which makes it very nice. And yeah, we can have a very nice buy because our resistance is just there, but we have a support which is boosting, uh, is pushing the market to the upside. So I'm expecting the market to come around this area, but don't just hold trades up to this point because the market might push very quickly and go to the uh, lowest side. So the best thing that you can do when you are in profit, you can try to lock your profit or get out because there's possibility that the market might push lower. Or what you can do is maybe you can lock the profits maybe the market is going to break this uh, resistance and push to the upside you can but we can see that the market is still respecting this area so we don't really need to play around this area unless the market is going to break that i'm talking about people who only buy because i only buy these indices so what might happen here is maybe those who sell when the market reaches this area they can look for sell positions or sell signals then they can sell uh, because the market is actually on a wedge but my expectation here is i'm expecting that the market even if it's moving like this i'm expecting the market to to come and break this area maybe this week or next week we i don't know but i'm expecting the market to do that why because the market has been on a bearish momentum and i don't think the market will stay like that forever right so let's move to the next one which is uh, us 30 so please guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends if you already subscribed you are a boss you are a boss uh now on us 30 we are on on a four hour time frame what do we see we see that uh, we have an area where the market is actually respecting and i marked that area why because that area before it was a sort of a resistance now the market came back again there then the market is trying to do it to push to the upside because uh, the market actually if you check on the bottom we have this support area and around this area now is going to be the support even if before it was a, a resistance but what i see is this might be a very very nice move because the market might come back if this is a higher low we might see the market creating something like this before coming back again why if the market is on an uptrend we see this the market is creating a very nice uptrend you can see the market went down up down broke out of that creating this type of move so i'm expecting the market to create something like this do you see that this might be a higher low which makes it a very 
a very nice zone to place your buy positions or your long position but everything's possible guys the market might just consolidate around this area but it's a very good area to buy so what if maybe the opposite happens we might see the market pushing a lower break in this area once this area is broken we don't have to jump on the market why because the support is very very close here then there's possibility that the market can reach this area before pushing up or maybe we might see the market doing some crazy stuff breaking the support and moving to the lower side but around this area we still have a support area where maybe we can say if the market is going to reach there we can easily buy around that area why because the market used to respect that area the market used to respect that area so let's move straight to nasdaq 100 so it seems like the market is trying to recover guys it seems like the market is trying to recover but i'm not i'm this is not like 100 percent so what we can do here is let's make sure that the market is seriously on a bullish momentum before we can say things now on us on on, on nasdaq 100 if you still remember uh, let me show you this we have uh, this on a daily time frame on a daily time frame you can see that the market was just nicely pushing up but we have a breakout here so on a breakout the market came back again and it seems like it's respecting that which shows or which is if if the market is really going to respect this area as we see that the market already did that it means that might signal a very strong bearish momentum but around this area it seems like the market is also respecting it's possible that the market might respect this area push lower come back again break that area and push to the upside that is also possible but let me just try to zoom that so that you can see nicely yeah i think now you can see nicely you can see that this area this area it's where the market was like, like respecting sorry the market yes was respecting this area because it was a support area then the market broke out of that now the market came back and respect that and once the market respected that we saw a very strong sell-off so but that sell-off did not continue going lower where we thought maybe it will reach the market actually respecting another area so we just need to know if the market is going to respect this area and push to the upside or maybe the market is going to break to the lower side because this is actually we are on a bearish momentum at the moment to get out of this bearish momentum we need to be above this this area as a resistance now we can be if we can be above that we can say you know what now we are on a full uh, bullish momentum but at the moment even if we see small bullish momentum that is not really safe to say the market is on bullish yes the market might still push up but the market might still respect this area and push to the lower side so it means we need to be careful especially as we are very very close to this um, resistant at the moment because it's where the market is respected so the market might come here and push to the lower side or maybe the market might break that and if it bro it's if it's going to be broken it's where we can say the market maybe is now trying to change the trend because it's possible that the market might change here and push the to the upside because last week uh facebook was struggling and that also made the market to go like seriously uh, this moves it, it was because of uh, the figures that a uh, meta platform or facebook reported were very bad i think 20 something uh, negative 20 something percent negative which was lost so that was that was like seriously big so i think maybe at the moment the market might try to consolidate but we still on a bearish momentum so we need to wait for the market to give up to give us some nice moves here is a place where you can say maybe you can buy let me just go on a four hour time frame it's possible to say maybe you can buy why because it's a sorry because it's a support area but remember we are on a bearish momentum look at this so at the moment we hear the market is trying to push the upside and around this area also there is a small resistance there so but i'm not going to draw that but what i like is i am waiting for the market to break this area here and then we can say now we are full on bullish momentum because 
at the moment the responsibility that the market can push to the lower side so please guys we have a special which is 15 dollars uh, for vip signals 15 dollars uh, system indicator where you're going to sing signal indicator where it's going to give you signals is also fifteen dollars. Uh, Thirty dollars is a robot. So guys, if you can afford fifteen dollars, please don't bother us. Don't bother us. You don't qualify to trade, maybe because people they will just ask me some stupid question about something which is twenty uh, fifteen dollars. So if you you don't have that, please, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't go around bothering other people. Thanks. Thank you. Please smash that subscribe button. Like, share with your friends. Let's grow the channel. Thanks to everyone who already subscribed. This is Kenzo. Extra hard forex. Bye.